Number 15, ballet. Sounds French, everyone thinks it's French. It's actually from Italy. The courts of Renaissance Italia were where the dance form balletto originated. It was brought to France by the Florence-born Catherine de' Medici, who married the King of France, and it was in that country and later Russia that the dance was nourished into its modern form. Number 14, Sudoku. The name is Japanese and means single number, but this mathematical game originated in France in the late 1800s, where newspapers featured early forms of the puzzle. Modern Sudoku, however, comes from America, where it popped up in magazines from 1979. It was introduced to Japan in 1984, where it was named Sudoku. It was popularized in quiz and puzzle-loving Britain by a British judge in Hong Kong named Wayne Gould, who first saw the puzzle in a Japanese bookstore. The Times published the game in 2004, and it spread worldwide. Number 13, Baseball. This most American of sports was birthed in England, where from at least some time in the late Middle Ages, a game called stool ball was being played, the probable ancestor of cricket, rounders, and baseball, which was called baseball by the 18th century, where where Bishop Thomas Wilson disapproved of it being played on a Sunday. Most famously is its mention in the novel Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, where the heroine Catherine Morland is described as preferring to play baseball than to read books. But there can be no doubt that baseball was developed into its modern mature form in the United States, as this 1875 American painting shows. Number 12, the Panama hat. This cool, light, straw-brimmed hat hails from Ecuador, not Panama. In the 1800s, a guy started selling the hats in Panama, where they were shipped all over the world, naturally leading to people thinking they were were Panamanian in origin. Number 11, French fries. This one is a bit tricky, as most people are mysteriously eager to disparage the French. The Belgians claim to have invented the fries centuries ago and served them to British troops in World War I. Supposedly, since the Belgians spoke French, the British attached Frenchness to the fries and the association stuck. However, the French have early sources for frying potatoes too. Maybe the solution is traveling back to the home of the potato, South America, where in the 1600s, a Chilean called Francisco Núñez de Pinera y Bascoñán mentions some Mapuche women who served fried potatoes for him. Hmm. Number 10, the Great Dane. Scooby-Doo's dog breed originated in Germany, not Denmark. However, after warring against Germany, England renamed the dog Great Dane, which is ironic, as Germany had themselves renamed this same dog earlier, from English Dogge to Deutsche Dogge, as it had been bred from British breeds. Number 9, German measles, also known as rubella. This pesky but mostly mild viral infection did not originate in Germany or from some sinister Deutschlander with a rash recklessly coughing in foreign lands. No, it was simply German physicians who first described the disease in the 1700s. Number 8. Venetian blinds. These window-shading, overlapping horizontal slats suspended by cords are said to have originated in Persia, not Venice. It was rather the 18th century's merchants of Venice who sold the blinds to the French who still call them Les Persiens. Number 7. Sushi. This most stereotypical of Japanese foodstuffs actually originated somewhere along the banks of the Mekong River in Southeast Asia. It could have been Vietnam, or Cambodia, or Myanmar, or Laos, or Thailand. The Chinese had adopted the food by the second century after having expanded their empire south and similarly expanded their menus. There is even a famous Chinese writer literally called Su Shi, but I don't think that has anything to do with pickled fish. Anyway, the dish eventually ended up in Japan and the Japanese loved it and refined it and made it their own. And today we eat the Japanese variety, which includes rice. The Southeast Asian version fermented the fish in rice, but they threw away the rice before eating it. Number six, the Danish. This delicious pastry actually came from Austria, being brought to Denmark by Austrian bakers after strikes in Denmark's bakery in 1850 compelled owners to seek bakers from abroad. Plundergebeck proved prodigiously popular and the pastry production persisted after the strikes subsided. The Austrian methods were adapted to the Scandinavian palate by adding more egg and fat and the Danish was born. Number five, spaghetti bolognese. Deceptively sounding like something from Bologna. This dish is popular, it seems, everywhere except Italy. This is because the dish is neither from Bologna nor Italia and the Italians don't want anything to do with this sham of a meal masquerading as something else. It most likely came about amid the modern mix of southern Italian immigrants in America. Number four, French toast. This recipe actually dates back to ancient Rome. Number three, Buddhism. Many, many people associate the religion of Buddhism with China or Southeast Asia because of all the Thai travel brochures and inexpensive statuettes of obese Buddhas chuckling at us from the crowded shelves of Asian-owned discount shops. Buddha was in fact an Indian, born, it is said, in Lumbini in present-day Nepal. Number two, jeans. No, Levi Strauss did not invent jeans. They had existed long, long before, being produced by fabric makers in Genoa, Italy, and Nîmes in France, the clothing of choice for Genoese workers as early as the 16th the name Jeans probably derives from the French for Genoa, Jeanne. Number one, vodka. Yes, the famous spirit of choice for the Russians has a hazy history, but is first mentioned in a Polish document from 1405 and... Oh, uh, 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 hello, Mr. Putin. 
as I was saying, the debated origins of vodka lead us to, uh, uh, um, uh, <laughs>